This kid made $60 million in 18 months. And now you can build a site just like his in less than 5 minutes from right now. The kid on the front cover was of course Kevin Rose, the founder of Dig.com, a mainstream media darling with a cult-like following, and in 2006 he actually turned down a hundred million dollar bid for Dig. But before we continue we have to discuss the importance of social bookmarking. First of all it's a huge industry, millions of dollars in revenue and billions shift hands when a site is sold. Using social bookmarking sites is also critical for bloggers. If you're not using them, you're missing out on a ton of backlinks and a lot of traffic to your blogs. But that begs the question, if social bookmarking sites are so important to bloggers, why aren't bloggers running their own? We started to research that and found that there are two big myths about running your own social network. Myth number one, you have to compete against the big boys. This myth is busted. If you think about it, every blogger is not competing against the New York Times either. If that was the case, there wouldn't be more than one of every kind of site online. And of course, there is thousands of every kind of site online. There is plenty of room for niche social bookmarking sites. And just a fraction of the traffic and revenue Dig has would still be a gold mine. It actually turns out that there are thousands of under the radar small social bookmarking sites quietly making fortunes. Myth number two, you need huge servers and thousands of dollars to get started. This is busted too. You don't need NASA's great servers and it does not cost you thousands of dollars to set up a site. It stands to reason that if you're not trying to outcompete Dig, you don't need to match their resources. And in fact, most of the small, successful social bookmarking sites run on hosting accounts no different than what you're using for your own blogs. Unfortunately, one myth turned out to be true. Setting up and running a social network is bloody hard work. And it requires technical skill approaching a rocket science level. Well, that used to be the case, but that all just changed. Introducing COVID social press our brand new WordPress theme that can power your own profitable social network empire with real members building your sites for you without you ever having to write a single word and oh yeah it sucks free traffic from Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest on complete autopilot too. It's a one-click install WordPress theme that requires zero technical skill yet leaves you with a site looking so cool your friends will think you're the next Mark Zuckerberg. And in just five minutes from right now, you can have your very own profit pulling social network up and running. And most importantly, with all the functionality the big boys like Dig have. And that means real members joining your social network building your sites for you on autopilot. But you don't have to rely on getting members. You can fill your own site with quality content in minutes without having to write a single word yourself. Now I know those are some very bold claims. It can be hard to believe you could do all of this with a simple WordPress theme. But the theme is only simple to use. Behind the scenes, it's the most powerful and advanced we have ever built. But action speaks louder than words, so let me take you inside and show you exactly how Covert Social Press works and what it can do for you. And here we are. Welcome to Eurozone Crisis, a brand new blog, or rather, a brand new social bookmarking site I've just set up using the Covert Social Press theme. Now the first thing you'll notice is that this site looks very crisp, clean and professional, and it actually looks exactly like dig.com. And this is what your Covert Social Press sites will look like straight out of the box without you having to fiddle with any settings. They will look this good. But of course, if you want a customized look, that is super easy too. You can set a custom header, you can set a custom background image or color, and with our one click w color selectors in the admin area, you can easily change the font color of your titles, your post text, the background color of your post, and so on, 
to make this look exactly like you want or you can keep this look if you prefer that now I have all the posts here and uh, they laid out like this I could have more posts on the front page if I wanted to that's just uh, an easy setting I can change and then subsequent uh, posts are found on the pages down here that people can flip through and I also have uh, the widget ready footer area down here where I put two Amazon ads in and a recent post widget down here now I'm not logged in right now I'm uh, visiting the site as if I was a regular visitor and um, so I'm first going to show you what happens uh, for a regular visitor right so I come here and I want to read one of these articles and by the way the best thing is I have not written a single word here these are all bookmarked from as you can see BBC The Guardian and Bloomberg for example alright so I come here and say I want to read this article I click the link and it opens the article in a new tab or window so I can read the article I'm interested in I'll just go ahead and close that and it will keep the site open here so I can come back and find other stuff I'm interested in what you may not have seen happen here was that when I clicked that a pop under uh, happened and it popped under my squeeze page here and that is a setting in the theme that every visitor when they click something it will initiate a very unobtrusive pop under that will be behind their browser and waiting for them this will only happen once every 24 hours per visitor and you activate it simply by entering the link in the admin area for the site you want to have a uh, pop under so this is an excellent way to monetize your site because you're sending people to other pe uh, to other sites for to read the content so you can pop under for example your own squeeze page right so <coughs> that's how people come here interact with the site and, and read articles they can also like the posts they can save them and they can share them for example they can pin them to Pinterest share them on Facebook or tweet them now as a visitor I might come here and say oh I can submit a link and this is how you're gonna get members because you know everyone is interested in getting free backlinks and free traffic to the site so a lot of people would want to sub submit a link to your site if I click this because I'm not signed in I get this little warning telling me yep yeah, oops you can't do that you have to be signed in to submit a link and it tells me what to do in order to do that in order to do that I have to go sign in now I'm just gonna sign in but if I wasn't uh, a member I could register for an account right here right so I am signing in as myself and now you'll notice that it changed a little bit here because now it remembers the post I've already voted or liked uh, and those are shown in blue here whereas others like this one I haven't if I do the color will change another real cool feature for members is that I can save articles to my reading list for or my favorites list for, for reading later so say I want to save that one and yeah I want to read that one later too now you notice up here this little two here next to my reading list and that means I have two items of content that I've saved for later reading if I click the links here I would go in a new tab or window to read the article or I could click the arrow to do the same I've already liked this one I haven't liked this one so I could do that and I can also delete them from my reading list when I'm done with them so this is an excellent feature for uh, for your members and you're really providing value to them here by giving them this this feature right <coughs> so we go back to um, back to the front page and I'll show you how easy it is for both you and your members to fill up your COVID social press sites with content and of course you have to go submit a link and now that we're logged in we go to this page and there's three options here one is just entering a link you want to bookmark here and click submit down here there's the share buttons that you or your members can grab the code here stick it on your other blogs other sites and when people click on the social sharing buttons just like they would click on a dig button or a Facebook like button or or, or the like when they click on that it will initiate the submit a link uh, page here to submit content to your blog and then finally there is the uh, submitted 
button here, which I already had, but I'm just going to show you again. This is a bookmarking applet that you and your members can use to easily bookmark content, and we're going to use that one now. So all you have to do is drag that up to your browser toolbar, and you're ready to go. And I already found an article here that I wanted to bookmark. It fits with my site. So I'm on that in my browser. I just click the uh, bookmarking applet. And here we go. It pulls in the title and the description from the site. You can edit this edit this if you want. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Or you could leave it as is. I'm, for example, quite happy with the description here. You enter your tags. Uh, and this could be Ireland. That one fits nicely here. European Central Bank, Ireland de Deficit Bonds. And you select your category. And then finally, <coughs> you select an image. You can either upload your own image, select one of our stock images by uh, clicking the arrow there to open up the stock images. Or the easiest part, if the uh, site you're bookmarking has images, you can click this link, uh, this arrow here, to select an image from the site. And there was one there that fits nicely. So that's it. That's the post ready. All I have to do is click on submit. It asks me if I want to submit another one. But I'm quite happy with just submitting that one. And you'll notice I have a site out here with an Amazon ad. So my members submitting stuff will be exposed to whatever I put in the sidebar over here. So right, if we go back to the front page, now that we submitted the post, you notice that that is already live here. And I could now like it. I could save it to my reading list. And I can also share it. And that's what I'm going to do, do now to show you how you can easily generate traffic to your sites as well. And how your members can help you with it. As I said, they can uh, pin it on Pinterest. They can tweet it. Or they can share it on Facebook. We're going to share it on Facebook. So I click that. It opens up this. I could write anything I want here. Or just share it as is. We're just going to go ahead and share the link. Now, on my Facebook wall here, if we refresh it, we now see that six seconds ago, I shared the link. And this is my uh, the content that I shared. Now, this link here does not go to Reuters for the article. This goes to your covert social press site. So what happens when I click that link is I'm sent back to the covert social press sites and it, it has the uh, the title the image the description you can like it you can save it you can share it again you can even comment on it I'm exposed to the sidebar which I have an Amazon ad on here I have a most popular articles uh, widget so people can find more related content this is a cut custom widget that is uh, included with the theme as well and then there's also of course the link to go read the full article in this case on Reuters. So that's what happens when people share your content on Facebook, Twitter or Pinterest, people get sent back to your blog and you can and they have the option to do all this stuff. You can send them to other articles, show ads in front of them and so on. And that's that's pretty much uh, the the functionality of it. There's a lot more to it, uh, a lot more you can do. Um but I can't go through all of it now. Uh, that would make the video way too long. But I want to go inside the admin dashboard and show you how it all works in there. In order to do that, I'm going to sign out here and sign in as the admin. Which we have just done. Right, so inside the admin area here of WordPress. There's a few things I want to show you. First of all, people that sign up as members, they go in as WordPress users. And um, you can export the leads. And all you have to do is go in here and set a start date and an end date and click export. And you get a nifty uh, CSV file, which is exactly the format that you need in order to exp import these leads into your order responder like Aweb or get response and so on. So everyone who signs up you can export as leads and put into your order responder. So the theme itself becomes both a membership site, a social bookmarking site 
and a list builder for you. You can also uh, set the uh, the ad widgets. As I showed you, there's a single post sidebar, uh, which I have the Amazon ad and and, and whatnot on. There's the footer area, three widget areas there, and there's also a sidebar for the front page, which, which I'm going to show you in a bit. Other things you can do in here, I just showed you how you can easily add content just by uh, bookmarking, and it literally take literally takes 10 seconds to uh, to post that way. You can also just post normal WordPress posts and pages with your own content. So you can build a blog that is entirely bookmark content, like the one I have now, one that is entirely your own content but still looking the same, or one that is a mix of bookmark content and your own unique content. So that, that kind of freedom you have as well. And then finally, we have the theme options, which is like the engine room of Covert Social Press, where you uh, control most of the stuff. First of all, the theme comes with a help file, which has two very important uh, tutorials on it. One is a step-by-step -step setup guide that guides you through setting everything up, the best configuration, um, and so on. And uh, this one is really good. And then there's the how to be successful, which has a lot of ideas on how to find content, what kind of sites to build, how to monetize, and so on. And then there's a description of every single setting, so you will never get lost with anything in here. Here we have the pop under link, and as I said, it's very easy to activate. You just put in the link you want to have pop under, and then once every 24 hours, when somebody clicks uh, something on your site, you will show a pop under to them. Um, everything else is super simple. I said there's the uh, one click color selectors, for example, here for the header background color. I can simply select a color there. I can change the uh, menu links, the text for them and all kinds of uh, settings here really easily to make it look and feel just like I want to. Down here we have the membership options um, where you can set rename the like buttons to for example uh, vote up, you could uh, change the reading list to your favorites even the bookmarking applet you can rename to whatever you like. Settings for whether when members publish uh, or submit a link whether well it should be immediately published or maybe you wanna want, want them to be saved as drafts if you want full quality control over what goes on the COVID social press site. And here comes some of the really powerful stuff. Uh, every time a new user signs up you can send them a welcome email giving them their username and password and so on. Uh, you can build your own message and even include a promotion for something like I just did there. And you can also customize the uh, warning pop-up telling people that they need to be logged in in order to uh, perform a certain action. So as you can see, this is a fully functional social bookmarking site, all run from WordPress with a single theme options page here where you control everything. And then you can also export your leads and so on. There's actually one thing I just wanted to show you before we finish this uh, demo and that is the front page uh, sidebar. As you can see here, I had it turned off but I can set it to show on the left or the right of the front page. We're going to show it on the right. So all I have to do to change anything on here is I s make my selections and then I click save options and I go back here and if we refresh the page we will now see the front page sidebar widget and it loads a little bit slow now because I'm uh, recording a video but it should come up very soon hopefully yes there we go it's actually Amazon being a little bit slow today but um, as you can see this is my front page sidebar widget which fits uh, nicely in the post grid I have my ads here that are related to my content you could of course put anything in here like AdSense, Amazon ads, Clickbank ads, uh, an opt-in form, banners and so on both here and on the single post sidebar as well. So that was a quick tour of Covert Social Press, how easy it is to publish content, 
get members, uh, get traffic from uh, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter, and so on. So let's quickly recap the covert social press theme features. It makes your blog look and work just like Dig, but you can customize it with just a few clicks of your mouse. You can run a fully functional social network with real members building your site for you. It will generate leads for you, sending automatic welcome emails to your new members and letting you export all your leads. But you don't have to rely on other people, as you just saw, you can populate your own site with quality content in minutes. It will build links on autopilot, both backlinks and quality outgoing links turning your blog into an authority site. And it sucks traffic from Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest on autopilot. It's fully monetized with widget ready sidebars, footer and an automatic pop under ad acting as your personal 24-7 lead magnet. It will get traffic, it will get members, and it will make you money. And it comes with all the support you need, including a step-by-step -step setup guide and video tutorial. And of course, much more. Now you might be forgiven for thinking that this will cost you a small fortune. And there are a few other social bookmarking scripts out there. I personally bought one for $499, and that was for a single site license only. It was extremely complicated and def definitely not as easy as using a simple WordPress theme. And it didn't even have half the features of Covert Social Press and certainly not the powerful inbuilt traffic generation. But for a limited time only, you can get your hands on the brand new Covert Social Press theme at the special low early bird price you see below. Now we do plan to sell this for $67 or more on Clickbank very soon. But right now you can get it for a fraction of that, including free lifetime updates. And if you order right now, we will even include full multi-site and site flipping license at no extra cost. And that means you can use the theme on as many blogs as you like. I don't care if you use it on 10, 100 or 1000 blogs, you can use it on as many blogs as you like. You can use it on blogs you build for clients and you can even sell and flip blogs with the theme installed. So all that's left for you to do right now is to click the button below to secure your copy of the Covert Social Press theme before the price goes up.